Welcome to Alberta Rheumatology's discussion on IL-17 inhibitors. IL-17 inhibitors are DMARDs, or disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs. They belong to a large class of medications known as biologics. They work by blocking interleukin-17, IL-17 for short, which is a protein involved in the body's immune system that contributes to inflammation. By blocking IL-17, the medications cause a reduction in inflammation. They can take a few weeks to start working, although different patients may respond differently. There are two IL-17 inhibitors currently available. Secukinumab is a 150 to 300 mg injection under the skin every four weeks, and Ixikizumab is an 80 mg injection under the skin every four weeks. There are many benefits to IL-17 inhibitors, including decreased swelling, improved pain and stiffness, improved day-to-day -day functioning, and a reduction in irreversible joint damage. Possible side effects include injection site reactions, as well as serious infections. You should watch for a fever and skip your scheduled dose until you're feeling better, although it's best to check with your doctor if you're unsure what to do. There's also a risk that the medications can cause a flare of inflammatory bowel disease, if this is something that's pre-existing for you. Prior to starting an IL-17 inhibitor, most patients will be tried on a traditional DMARD first. You may need to remain on your prior DMARD in order to ensure that the inhibitor works as best as it can. You should also get a tuberculosis check, as there's a risk for reactivation if you've been previously exposed. And you should ask your doctor if you should get any live vaccines updated. A few things to remember while taking IL-17 inhibitors include the importance of regular blood work to monitor for any problems, and you should tell your doctor about any other medical conditions you have or any changes that arise. IL-17 inhibitors are an effective treatment for ankylosing spondylitis, psoriatic arthritis, and similar diseases. For more about IL-17 inhibitors, please read the information provided on our website at albertarheumatology.com. And as always, do not hesitate to talk to your doctor.